Hey everyone, it's Matt Ross from the National Deer Association and welcome to the month of November. It's my absolute favorite time of year. I know it is for a lot of us. Over the next few weeks, millions of hunters will be spending millions of hours afield in hopes of harvesting a giant whitetail. Some will try rattling to do that. Have you ever tried rattling before and met it with limited to no success? It's like it works on TV, but why doesn't it work for you? Well, that's where NDA steps in. We provide science-based information for deer hunters like you, but in an easy to understand package to improve your success and make hunting more fun. Let me share a few tips on what science says that can improve your rattling this fall. I'll break that down in three basic categories. When, where, and how. First, when should you rattle? Try doing so in the morning. The research suggests that bucks respond at a higher rate in the mornings as opposed to midday or in the evenings. Also, try to do so on cool, cloudy days when there's little to no wind. Researchers found that buck responses increased as temperature and wind decreased, but as cloud cover increased. Obviously, wind speeds directly impact a buck's ability to hear, but we don't really know why cloud cover impacted the response rate, but it did particularly when it was above 75%. Perhaps the increased visibility from less glare or a low barometric ceiling increased the buck's ability to locate the sound. Either way, those were the ideal conditions for timing of rattling. Next, where is a good spot to rattle from? Try doing so in an elevated setting as opposed to on the ground. The research also suggests that your visibility from a tree or a tower will improve your odds. The scientists that performed the research did so in two person teams, one in a 30 foot tower and one on the ground. The hunter on the ground failed to see almost 60% of the bucks that responded. So maybe some of those times that you were out rattling, a buck responded positively and you just didn't see it. So climb up high or at least rattle where you can see a long way. This will improve your view and help the sound travel further. Finally, how should you do it? Try to rattle in three consecutive sequences. Start with a lower volume, two to three minute effort, followed by seven to eight minutes of silence. Then rattle again, but do it as loud as you possibly can. You can't get loud enough. One of the most telling statistics we've learned is that bucks respond more to loud rattling sequences than they do quiet ones, almost three times more. You might want to start out quiet in case there's anything nearby, but after that, ramp it up. Finally, rattle once more before you decide to move. Each three-part rattling cycle should last about 30 minutes total. The researchers rattled to 11 different collared bucks multiple times, and four of the bucks didn't react to the first sequence, but approached the second time around, and seven of the 11 moved closer every time they were within earshot suggesting that bucks will continue to respond to rattling even if they had been called in before. Give it about 20 to 30 minutes of pure silence and then you can either rattle again from the same spot or move to a new location. With so much deer movement during the peak of the rut, you'll likely be calling to a new set of deer each time if you stay put. Well, that is just a few tips that you can try if you decide to rattle in the coming weeks. If you wanna learn more, we posted an entire article about this research that includes the top 10 tips for rattling more bucks at DeerAssociation.com. Thanks for your support of the NDA. Stay safe and good luck this fall.